hey guys welcome back to my channel for today's video i will be sharing with you guys my shower routine and i'm super excited for you guys to see this video so in today's shower routine like i had mentioned to you guys i do not wash my hair daily so i am going to be showing you guys what products i do like to use when i do wash my hair so here i'm showing you guys two of my go-to shampoos i know that the function of beauty could be a little on the pricier side so i did throw in the option of being able to use something a little bit more affordable which is my go-to tresemme i usually just go in there and wash my hair with the shampoo and i will start using my head scrubber i picked this up on amazon everything that i will be mentioning will be linked down below for you guys then i'll go in there with my favorite conditioner at the moment and like i said switches off between tresemme and the function of beauty i just really like how the function of beauty leaves my hair so soft and silky when i straighten my hair it just falls so naturally then i'll go in there and just kind of detangle my hair with the the head scrubber next i'll go in there with my daily cleanser by ole henriksen and i love this cleanser especially in the morning just because it really brightens up my skin and it has a lot of vitamin c which helps with any morning puffiness that you may have so this one has been my go-to cleanser so i don't know if this is just me but for some reason i always have to brush my teeth in the shower and that is morning and night um we can start debating the comments i don't know if it's just me but i'm going in there with my crest 3d to just brush my teeth for my shower so for my body wash like i had mentioned to you guys i do not usually use any actual body washes i usually go in there with my loofah and my dove soap so the loofahs i will tell you guys i was not a fan of them before i just started really using them recently and i had to get them in a bulk order in packages just because i know that you have to change these out at least every two to three months because they can collect mold from your shower so just be very careful when using loofahs just a little disclaimer for you guys in case you guys did not know um so i usually just go in there and scrub my whole body from top to bottom and just get myself ready so i can start shaving my legs So to shave my legs, I usually go in there with SkinMate and my Chic Razor. I like to use a man's razor just because I feel like it does the job so much better. I have not been a fan of girl razors. They would cut me. Um, they would leave spots. So I just started purchasing my razors from the men's section. And for shaving cream, I just use you know regular shaving cream. Sometimes if I don't have it, I'll just go in there with conditioner. Um, but I definitely love how the skin mate makes my skin feel, it gives it a little bit of a soft feel. So to be honest with you guys, I usually skip my thigh area just because my hair is usually a lot thinner on that area. But today we are going to be getting everything now to the fun part of the shower i'm gonna go in there with my tree hut body scrub and i'm going to begin to exfoliate and scrub my whole body so a lot of people love to exfoliate their skin before shaving i just like to do it after just so it can give me a really soft soft feel to my skin um and then i also don't want to risk like shaving my legs with body scrub and accidentally cutting me or anything like that so just be really careful if you do shave after body scrubs speaking from experience so i'm also going to go in there and just exfoliate my feet and you guys are seeing that i'm using this amazing foot scrubber that i just purchased and it has been working absolutely amazing to just get all up in my feet and my legs now that we're getting ourselves out of the shower and cleaned off we are going to go in there with my favorite deodorant and it is the garnier bio clarity 
deodorant that is amazing for underarm darkness and then for my mouthwash i will be going in there with some thera breath and it is in the fresh breath while i am rinsing my mouth i usually just clean my ears with some q-tips and just kind of kill a little bit of time while i am rinsing now for my actual hair i'm gonna go in there with one of my favorite hair masks and this just keeps my hair super soft and amazing to be able to just style right away it's gonna keep it really silky and soft i've talked to you guys about this hair mask before and it is by function of beauty but i have been absolutely loving it on my hair then to move on to our face i'm gonna just go in there with some toner and just even out my skin that way i can make sure that my face is ready for makeup application as to normally in the mornings i go straight into my room to do my makeup I'll be going in there with some moisturizer and I will have everything linked down below for you guys so you guys can pick up any of the products that I'm mentioning for you guys. So I am just adding my favorite moisturizer and bringing that all the way down to my neck. So for my under eyes, I like to use these patches from Amazon that I had actually talked to you guys about um, in a previous video and it keeps my under eye really nice and hydrated and I'll just kind of go in there and finish brushing off my hair. As you guys can see, it's still a little damped, but ever since cutting my hair short, um, the shower part has been a little bit more lower maintenance, which is great. Um, now to finish off, I'm just going to go in there and clean my ear piercings. And lastly, I will be going in there with my scar treatment cream for my um, scars. And that completes today's shower routine. I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, make sure you guys give this video a huge thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out. I will see you guys on my next video. Love you guys.